Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is very important because uh, whatever video I uh, made, this video is going to be most important video. Uh, now, uh, many people uh, send me email or message and they ask me that I am weak in organic chemistry and uh, what I should do. But actually, you are not weak. You, sh you don't know what you have to do. Uh, I mean, you don't know that which topics are basic and which you should do. Uh, people think that marking up some name reactions or some reactions or pushing some arrow uh, only mean the organic chemistry. But this is not. Organic chemistry doesn't only mean uh, some arrow pushing mechanism and memorizing some reactions. So these are the 10 topics uh, that you should know that uh, you should have a strong grip. Uh, in order to be good in organic chemistry and I uh, fortunately met a lot of uh, good people like good uh, teachers uh, who, uh, to whom I uh, took my course and I, I read a lot of books and after that things I came up with this fact that these 10 things at least the, these 10 topics you should have a strong knowledge a strong grip in order to have a good hold in the organic chemistry now I will uh, talk about all these 10 points and the concerned books from which you should uh, read that things. So uh, watch this video till the end because it is going to be very uh, helpful for you. And it, is, it is most important for the beginners uh, who are just uh, enrolled in the chemistry course because they have a lot of times to build up their st uh, strong concepts. And whoever are uh, on the uh, last stage like uh, on the BSc third year or MSc they should also be benefited from this video because uh, you know if you are preparing for a competitive exam just by solving some questions will not uh, at least in organic chemistry will not give you good success you should have uh, crystal clear knowledge of the basic things and that things I am going to discuss so the first thing which you should have strong knowledge in order to be good in organic chemistry is the bonding okay so bonding is not only important for organic chemistry but it is also important for inorganic uh, same way and uh, in this respect you should have thorough knowledge of VBT and MOT so uh, and uh, molecular orbital theory is even more important because you know, wherever you are doing a reaction, it involves homo of some nucleophile and lomo of some electrophile. So, if you cannot recognize what is homo and lomo, then you will not uh, going to be good in organic chemistry because in every reaction you have to identify the homo and lomo. So, you, you, you should have a sound knowledge of molecular orbital theory. So, FMO theory. FMO theory means frontier molecular orbitals, the concept of homo and lumo. This is very important, the most important part of organic chemistry and very basic part. And after that, the delocalization, conjugation and aromaticity. So, these topics are also equally important and they are very basic. So, you if you don't uh, understand what is delocalization, what is the conjugation and what is aromaticity, then you, uh, you are not going to enjoy the course of uh, organic uh, course of this uh, tremendous syllabus of organic chemistry okay so you should have this knowledge now for this topic this basic topic I will refer you two books so one is uh, Ian Fleming and second one is Clayton okay so now Clayton is a versatile book you can read anything from it but uh, in the Clayton uh, the, uh, as uh, the books which are available in the market at the textbook only in the Clayton uh, every reaction most of the reactions are uh, discussed in, th in terms of uh, in, uh, molecular orbital theory they identify the homo and lumo for every reaction and in the book Ian Fleming this is the excellent book uh, it is basically a physical uh, interpretation of the organic reaction so if you read the book you will understand that how good the book is okay so you should definitely read that that book for this particular topics now after that the second most important thing comes is the stereochemistry so if you don't have the sound knowledge of stereochemistry if you cannot recognize a structure what is the three dimensional structure of a molecule or what uh, a chiral where the chiral center is which center will revert or invert after the reaction you are not going to be good in organic chemistry so concept of stereochemistry the chirality isomerism conformations the conformational energy the stable conformation which is reactive conformation and after that the configuration and symmetry point groups these points are very basic okay so you should uh, have very good knowledge of this and for this the best book is D Nashipuri D Nashipuri book if you read you will have a very 
thorough knowledge of this particular topics so you should definitely buy this book dina shipuri then after that the spectroscopic uh, sorry the acidity and basicity the acidity and basicity is such a thing that it is a essential thing okay you should have knowledge of acidity and basicity otherwise because every every organic reaction is either uh, every organic reaction you can say acid base reaction or oxidation reduction reaction so acidity and basicity is very important and in this regard uh, you should uh, read the book of uh, peter sykes so, okay so peter sykes the uh, small book peter sykes uh, so the name of the book is uh, guide, uh, guide book to the mechanism in organic chemistry okay so this is a very important book and in this book the chapter of acid base is very concise and you should definitely read that chapter okay after that you can read jerry march and also clarin is there and if you have time you can also read the fa carry and rj sandberg book so these four books are uh, i would refer for the acidity and basicity because concept of acidity and basicity is very important questions also come in competitive exam and if you don't have proper knowledge of this subject you cannot um, uh, understand the uh, other organic reaction so this is very important so peter sykes book is a must read after that the spectroscopic techniques now uh, for, for the uh, for the introduction part or for the summary of the spectroscopic technique you can read clayden because uh, two or three chapters on the spectroscopy uh, in the book clayden but that are very concise and summary but if you can uh, if you want to read the book uh, spectroscopy things thoroughly then you should books uh, you should read some books which is specialized on that particular topics of spectroscopy and for that the best book is silverstein and pavia but they, these books are slightly difficult so you can read another book which is uh, by uh, william kemp so william kemp book is very easy to understand it is a student friendly book so if you are uh, comfortable with pavia and uh, silverstein you can definitely read that but if you are not comfortable then you should uh, read the book of william kemp that is a very simple book and after that you can uh, uh, read the clayden for summary because uh, whatever is the application that is nicely mentioned in the clayden book okay then after that and these things are uh, most important spectroscopy because whenever you will uh, do research then also this nmr things and uv other spectroscopic things they will come again and again in your life so this is a very important thing and you should definitely uh, have good understanding of that subject then after that uh, it is the type of reactions okay so you should have uh, clear cut knowledge of what is ionic reaction what is concentric reaction and what is radical reaction because if you don't have the proper knowledge of the type of reaction then you cannot uh, so you just will uh, memorize some reaction some name reaction and forget it um, on the next day so uh, you, you should have clear knowledge of this reaction now uh, for this topic uh, i will not suggest you for a particular book you should read these books uh, whatever i said and you will have uh, understanding of what is the ionic reaction what is the uh, concentric reaction and so on then after that the intermediate chemistry so intermediates the proper knowledge of structure stability and reactivity of the intermediate is another very important topic and in this regard you should know about carbocation carbanion carbene radical nitrine and arine that is benzene so uh, for this uh, carbocation and carbanion you should read the book of uh, peter sykes and your uh, carry sandberg part a and for radical nitrine and carbene it is nicely mentioned in the clayden book you can also read carry sandberg for this but clayden is sufficient for that but in clayden the carbene and carbocation is not specifically mentioned so you should read for that uh, the carry sandberg book and ian fleming book in the ian fleming book the negative hyper conjugation the stability of anion and that things are nicely explained so if you want to uh, this the real molecular orbital concept then you should definitely read this clay uh, ian fleming book okay so these are the topic then after that the effect of structure uh, the steric and electronic effect that is the stereo electronic effect now uh, and uh, this stereo electronic effect has tremendous effect on the properties and the reactivity of particular molecule and the reactions so for this particular topic uh, you will have uh, discussion on uh, stereo electronic uh, effect on different chapters of clayden and also in the ian fleming book it is very nicely mentioned but if you want a speci specialized book for that the book is aj kirby okay the aj kirby book it is a specialist book for the effect uh, uh, stereo electronic effect but this book is very costly it is uh, and uh, pdf file is not available so you can uh, read the google book okay but it is a very nice book if you read that book you, you will fall in love with that book so it is a very important after that the effect of solvent on the reaction mode 
or the properties and the reactivity. So basically the solvent effect. Like I already discussed several reactions of effect of solvent on C alkylation versus O alkylation, the nucleophilicity, these things. So for that you can read uh, uh, PDF Sykes for the primary knowledge and after that the best book for this is Clayden and uh, also the Jerry March something is uh, some points I mentioned but the best thing is F.A. Carey and R.J. Sandberg part A okay there the effect of solvent is very nicely mentioned so you should uh, read that book and this uh, solvent effect is very important you should understand it because if you don't have proper understanding of it you cannot uh, understand the mechanism of organic reaction okay so this thing after that some basic reaction mechanism okay so there are lot of organic reaction thousand and uh, more than that of organic reactions are there but you should you shouldn't memorize all that thing what actually you should do is you should have proper knowledge of some basic reaction mechanisms because all the reactions are based on that that basic uh, reaction mechanism only and that are the substitution reaction now substitution means it is uh, substitution reaction on the saturated carbon the SN1 and SN2 then substitution reaction on carbonyl compound uh, the, that is uh, loss of with the loss of uh, oxygen atom or not and the substitution reaction of uh, aromatic rings the electrophilic aromatic substitution and nucleophilic aromatic substitution so all this substitution reaction you should know the basic things of what the, what the actual mechanism is then the elimination reaction the U1 mechanism E2 mechanism and the U1 CV mechanism then after that the addition reaction the addition on carbon carbon double bond and carbon heteroatom double and triple bond these things then after that the pericyclic reaction the cyclo addition reaction sigma tropic reaction kilotropic reaction then your electrocyclic ring opening and ring closing reaction so you should have basic knowledge of that thing then uh, on the on uh, the, uh, so after building the basic concept you can obviously read more things but at least you should have the basic knowledge before uh, going to read further topics and after that the rearrangement reaction this is a very important the participation neighboring group participation rearrangement is a very important topic and finally I will and uh, all these things you can in general read from Clayden or any other book but Clayden is based because if you read these things at least once from the Clayden you will have a proper idea of what it is actually saying or what uh, the inner meaning of the reactions are then after that uh, the oxidation reduction reaction so now I re uh, write, wrote this in 10th position but it doesn't mean that it is uh, less uh, uh, less important it is most important and it is uh, it, it has same importance like acidity and basicity because every reaction you can classify as oxidation reduction reaction but I uh, mentioned it here because to read about oxidation reduction reaction you should have the preliminary knowledge of this all these things so that's why I uh, mentioned it here and for this particular topic the only uh, best book which I would call is the Caruthers book because the uh, two ch chapters are there on oxidation reaction uh, in the book of Caruthers if you read you can, if you can read that two chapters you will learn all the things about oxidation and reduction but definitely uh, the chapters are not easy and uh, you should have uh, the basic concept uh, before studying all these books so these are the all 10 topics and the concerned books that you should read at least after that you can read many other books but you should at least have proper knowledge of this all these things and then only you will be good in organic chemistry if you can uh, if you are familiar with these topics then also I will suggest you to revise these things or if you uh, are new, uh, knowing these things now then you should, uh, I would I will suggest you by uh, yourself by doing self study you should have uh, uh, you should gain proper knowledge about this subject because in the long run it will help you a lot so I hope that I am able to clear all of your doubts that what you should read in organic chemistry uh, so these are the things and uh, if you like this video then share it with your friends and give thumbs up and also if you are new in this channel then subscribe my channel and best of luck for you.